back again. I got a terrible buzz in my computer. buzzing sound. I'm trying to talk over it. I apologize. I have not been able to find my regular camera. So unfortunately, I can't do these videos. Alright. Anyway. Um, Scientology is what we're talking about. As I said, I'm a life coach. I've been one for several years now. been helping people longer than that. If I can help you, write to me at delusionscholar.com. Alright. Um, in these meetings of Scientology, You'll often hear people screaming, freedom, freedom, freedom. They're free from psychiatry. They're free from drugs. They're free from the world's toxins um, and that kind of thing. And after these freedom seminars, they'll do what I told you in the last video. They'll shut the door. They'll post guards near them. And they'll start changing their tone about, okay, we're all free. But what about these other people in the world that aren't free? Who's going to help these people? You are. You know, say it with me. We are, we are, you know, stuff like that. And then they'll start writing down amounts that they're willing to donate in order to spread the message of Scientology. Clear the planet. Make them, you know, whole again. Delivered from all these toxins and stuff. Such. Um, okay, and then after you donate, they'll say, Look at this! Mary just donated $50! Sammy just topped that at 150 Who's going to go higher? You know, like I said, it's like an auction, kind of. They want you to buy their stuff. All right. Then, sometimes they'll tell you, like, especially with the celebrities, we're going to do a photo shoot. We're going to post your photo up. We're going to put it all over the whole celebrity center, Scientology places. And we're going to tell them you just donated this much money. And we're going to ask them to donate on your behalf to free the planet, to clear the planet help other people get these materials. Um, unfortunately, sometimes some of the Scientologists have used tragedies like Hurricane Katrina and other tragedies like that, floods, whatever, um, to pose in pictures with the people they're supposedly helping. And a lot of them are not helping. They're just lightly touching people to transmit healing and warmth and calm and clearing and whatever else they transmit. But they're not actually building anything or helping with anything after the floods, um, or helping people to rehabilitate their homes and stuff. Um, another thing that, this has been verified by several Scientologists, so this isn't hearsay or anything. They don't like women to have babies, because they're already overcrowded in a lot of Scientology centers. So if a woman gets pregnant in Scientology, she's often asked to have an abortion, um, and they'll tell her, you know, Sea Org is much more important than being, you know, with child and raising a child. It would just be too cumbersome for you, and it wouldn't cleanse you. You need to stay cleansed, and, you know, that kind of stuff. And I don't know all what they tell women, but abortion is encouraged, and several women have had abortions within Scientology for the betterment of the unit, kind of an altruistic view of what is better for all of us as a whole is that you keep pursuing your studies. You're not encumbered by a pregnancy and eventually a child. So I definitely don't agree with that, obviously. Um, people that rebel against Scientology are often sent to places that amount to labor camps to do heavy lifting, moving boulders, building bridges, um, stuff like that. Things that probably women and children shouldn't be doing, but they often have been at, you know, doing that. Um, if you leave Scientology, you are disconnected from you. Your family will not talk to you anymore. They don't know you. Um, your friends don't know you. You are rejected and shunned, and you are told you're, you're not a Scientologist anymore. And what, what's going to happen to you? You can't be cleansed now. Thetans, I guess, will just take you over and you'll be destroyed eventually or something. I don't know all of what they tell them. But basically, they can't be a Scientologist. They can't talk about Scientology to anybody anymore. They're unable to go up the bridge or over the bridge. Um, they won't have a car, a house. Uh, their family might also be in the cult already or in the group already. So they decide to dive full force into the cult just to not lose their family. This is the negative part of Scientology. 
Um, you've given everything to Scientology. You don't have anything of your own. So when you get out, if you do get out of there, you have to start all over again. And you don't really have a connection to the outside world, especially if you were born into it. You can't save money because all your money is being taken to buy the books and things that you need to be clear. Um, you can't leave the base unless you're accompanied by someone, so the only way out is to escape. You can't go on vacations because we need you. You know, what are we going to do? You are operating in this capacity and you're part of the clearing process and we've got to have you here. You don't have a cell phone, no email. Your mail is read by someone inside Scientology, so you may never even get letters from the outside. You're not allowed to read a newspaper or a magazine because it's contaminated by the world's way of seeing things. You don't watch TV or movies. Now, some of this may have changed. I honestly don't know. I haven't had an updated version of what goes on behind the Scientology walls. I'm just telling you what I've learned about, at least in the past. Um, they begin to remove you from your dreams and your vocations. They'll say, you want to be a teacher? Well, you can teach right here. You don't need to go and teach in those public schools where they teach you to take medicine and they, they teach you it's okay to do these terrible things and you know, stay here where we can protect you, where you're safe and clear, and you can be a teacher right here. We've got plenty of things you can teach and plenty of people that want to learn. Wouldn't you want to teach people that want to learn rather than trying to struggle with these students that, you know, they're in the world, so they have the world's ways of seeing things, and they're going to rebel against you, and they're not going to listen, they're not going to learn. You want to do things that are going to help people. You're helping people here, so stay here. Um, anybody would pretty much that would appeal to them, or at least make them think. Um, so yeah, you, I mean, they say that L. Ron Hubbard promotes the arts and learning, so you're thinking, well, what better place to be than where the leader is all in favor of you learning and growing and being your best? Um, so, like I said, Scientology seems to have some good aspects of it, on the surface at least, and maybe even within but there's some things going on and being practiced that aren't healthy and definitely toxic. So stay tuned, I'll talk more. Thanks for watching.